everyone, my name is Becky, thanks for watching my video. This is slightly different to what I'm used to, usually I'm stuck behind the microphone, but today there's no microphone. What I've decided to do today is another unboxing video. I did one of these a couple of years ago with a violin and um, it seemed to be really popular and people liked it, so I thought I would do another one, but with this. I recently bought a new load of kit for my live performing and practicing and this is my new stage piano. I previously had a, I think it was a Casio Privia, if that's how you say it, uh, PX330, I think that's what it was, the model. I bought that, that was the next display and I used it for live performances and more recently practicing at home. But basically I wanted to upgrade, um, so whoops, sorry, just kicked a computer. Basically I wanted to upgrade the stage piano so I've sold on the Casio and I have um, last week bought a Roland. I've always wanted a Roland because I judge for Open Mic UK, which is the national singing competition. Everyone who performs on stage there pretty much uses a Roland. I've even seen drum pads, um, Roland, uh, stage pianos. I think I have seen this one being used live on stage by a contestant. Uh, the one I've got is the FP50 in black and I got it from my local professional music technology store. Um, I'll put a link to their website below. I've used PMT for years now and I'm lucky enough to have a store in my home city now uh, before I used to have to travel about an hour to my nearest one. So I bought this, I also bought a bag for it but anyway what I think we should do is get on with the unboxing and get this stage piano set up. So yeah so what I'm going to do is lie the box on the floor, get it out and then set up my um, stand. I'll put it on and I will give it a go and tell you what I think. I've only had a little try in the store. I've not actually opened, obviously, this one yet. So let's get it open. So this says, please open this side. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, it's packaged up quite well. <laughs> That seems to be the plug adapter that I just dropped. This is how it's pretty much in the box. And so I've just basically got to slide it out. And I just don't have much room to play with. So there was this little box thing that I pulled out first. This is have plug adapters in it that fell out. And there's something else, oh, oh okay, there's something else in this box as well. And I've just realised what it is and I didn't expect this, because I already have one. <laughs> Ten points if you can guess what it is, comment below. Okay, let's get rid of that. They have given me a damper pedal. Now... I've already got an M Audio one that I really love. I really enjoy using it. But this, oh, so I don't know if you can really see it in the packaging, um, but this is a damp pedal, not a Roman one. So yeah, I will definitely have to give that a go and see if that's any better than my M Audio one. Obviously, if it is, um, I have two pedals. I could have a damper and a sustain going up in the world obviously <laughs> and it just seems to connect by jack that one and there is a little leaflet in there as well which I'll have a read on later but for now put them over there as well for now let's get this on the stand so yeah I've just got to um, cut through the sellotape tape and I will unwrap the piano and um, it's a lot it's quite a bit smaller I think than my old piano one thing, the reason we chose this compared to the one above it, I think this was like the middle one, can't cut that side. 
the reason we chose this one of the reasons was because we being myself and my um fiance uh, as he um he basically mans the sound for me in my live events we chose this piano one of the reasons because it was considerably smaller than what i had before and i struggled lifting the piano into the piano because basically i'm a wuss yes yeah, so that was one of the reasons we chose this i don't actually know the measurements of how uh, much smaller this is but you we can tell by looking at it and we compared it to the one above it as well basically the one above it had <clears throat> some speakers on the side as well whereas this one only has speakers i believe on the top um so let's get this here so here it is i believe the speakers are, are they at the back yeah they're at the back whereas the one above this one had like speakers here and on the other side as well which is just off camera and we felt that that wasn't really needed um especially because this when in the case of live events i will probably put this through the pa and at home i don't need that much speakers basically so it was we was basically paying a couple more hundred pounds for some for more speakers which we didn't need so that's why we we went for the smaller model first appearances it looks lovely as i thought in the store just pressing the keys a little bit it they feel a lot more weighted than the Casio. That's what I wanted from the, from the Roland as well. There was a different piano. I can't remember what model it was. It was a lot more money than this one. But it, it was the nicest one to play. But it was just out of my budget. So yeah, I'm going to get this on the stand now. Um, and I will actually get it switched, well, plugged in and switched on. So you can hear it. And I'll tell you my thoughts on it. I know I'm off screen. I'm sorry. Just talking to a torso. Big, well listening to a torso um but yeah i'm gonna get this set up now hi i've got it set up now here it is i'm hoping that you can see me it looks like you can obviously it's under the window not the best place for a camera to go but um it's all set up i've not i've only just literally gone to test if it works i think my new favorite thing about it because this wasn't um put on it in the store is the actual music stand it's actually see-through if i take it off you can see you can see through it i absolutely love that obviously the one i had before wasn't like that at all but yeah i've put the damper not damp well it was called damp pedal but it's actually the i use it as a sustain so oh looks like i've put it in the wrong one let's try that again okay now that i've actually plugged it in plug the uh, pedal into the right um, input obviously I'm holding the pedal down there you can't see my feet but the pedal works and one thing I also like about the pedal is that there's actually like a um, a cushioning underneath it that you can actually move out I quite like that so that it will help it not slip because that was one thing I hated about the very first one I had the one that came with my old keyboard um, is it a slip about everywhere first things just by looking at it it looks really lovely it's definitely smaller than what i had before but basically it's got all different sounds on it as well i didn't another reason for picking this one rather than the model above was because i don't need loads of sounds i only really use the piano the grand piano sound on it it feels nice to play um sounds nice but it's a little bit of an echo on it there a little bit of reverb um but here if i go to there's all different sounds like strings um i could probably split them as well i've not really played about on it i've literally just switched it on um but it it feels more like a proper piano which was what i it was one of the main reasons why i wanted to upgrade the casio was because it just didn't feel nice to play. As soon as I started trying the Rolands, when I was definitely considering having one, I just didn't want to play the Casio anymore because it just didn't feel nice to play. So that's why I got the Roland. I did look at other brands like Korgs and Yamahas and things like that, but I've always wanted a Roland stage piano. And that is what seems to be the industry standard around here. So that was one of the other reasons I picked um, the Roland brand, but yeah, it's it's a really really lovely keyboard. I cannot wait to play it. That 
hopefully gives you an idea of how it sounds. If I just do some quick scales. <laughs> With this keyboard I can't wait to use it and hopefully if you're thinking of buying the piano or upgrading yours um, hopefully this will may have given you an idea of something that you may like we'll say this model that I have is the Roland FP50 that's F for Foxtrot P for piano <laughs> can't remember that one I actually quite like I've just noticed this right now is that on the white keys there's like a little wood effect, like grain, that you can see on the keys. Even if I tried to show it on camera, it probably wouldn't come up. But I've only just noticed that, and I really quite like that finish. It's like a matte uh, finish that you can see, like, the grain of wood. They feel plastic, but, but no, it's got like a, a wood grain on it, which is quite cool. From what it looks like, the black keys don't have that. They probably do have that same sort of finish but but no it's absolutely lovely I'm gonna have a little bit of a play about on it more now I really hope you've enjoyed this video it wasn't really planned so that's probably why I've just spoken a load of well well waffled basically but I will be back um soon with a new cover video and maybe soon depending if I can figure out how to record it I can do some live piano covers as well obviously if there's any you'd like me to do just comment below below request them i will do my best to learn them thank you for watching if you want to see more videos like this you can watch my um, violin unboxing video which i'll put up here but i hope to see you all soon thank you for watching again see you soon i've already said that but whatever <laughs> bye